championship. That's what we got right now. After that, we're done. Whether we win or not, it's the end. Let's go, quick. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right into it, right into it. You have to have more wins every day than you do losses. Not just the 22 games that we played, but like the 100 days before that. Nine days Don't away. Jesse said nine days away. What's your preparation look like? Push, come on, push. Oh. What we've impressed upon them is, okay, so April 1st is your first game. That's your, your first and only opportunity you have to play. At the end of every day, we ask them honestly, like, did you win? You know, did you win today? And we've had a lot more wins than we have losses. Eric, get low below him! We ain't really trying to, you know, talk about next week or tomorrow's practice. Really just trying to win the day that we're on. Come on now! Corner, corner, corner! Geico Nationals, it's 10 teams now. It used to be eight teams, divided into two sides um, with two play-in games. You know, each side um, has some really, really good teams. Our first game is Milton, and they're a really, really, really good team. Um, state champions out of Georgia. Two really good lead guards, but you know, they're, they're young, so this first game is definitely going to rely a lot on us and how we go. I think that they did the type of team, if everything going well for them, they're going to be energetic. At the top of our bracket um, is Sunrise, who's the two seed who we played in the middle of the year this year, you know, but the biggest thing for us is not talking to our guys about you know, what could happen or what will happen. You know, we're extremely dialed in on the Milton and, you know, if and when the time comes to advance in the tournament, the the coaches will, will be locked in and have, and have our guys prepared. A lot of their baseline out of bounds is generated by who takes the ball out, right? Generally, every time Bruce takes the ball out, they're right into that cross screen, one four low. He lifts, hits him, cross screen comes out, going and getting a handoff, right? He will throw the shake action on that. Be mindful of Bruce, get through the cross screen to start, you should be fine on that. Our standard for 32 minutes. You guys literally live in an environment where your standard is through the roof. That's why you're here. It's a different standard than anywhere else in the country. Your standard, it's just another day, but it's going to be on display today for 32 minutes, all right? It's the return of the high school dance, and we're not talking about prom. It's Geico Madness in Fort Myers. Elton, the 7A state champion from Georgia. You know, after the first round, you know, if we do end up playing Sunrise, our main goal is going to be to get to the championship game. You know, obviously it's going to be some extra emotions tied into it just because they beat us earlier in the season, but it's really just about whoever is on the other side of the bracket, whoever we playing, you know. We gotta go out and win. Y'all know what it is? Come on, come on, run the tip. IMG in the blue, sunrise in the gray, and off we go. A spot in the championship game tomorrow. Eastern on ESPN. This is a rematch from January 18th at the St. James. It was on ESPN. New Sunrise won at 69-62 as Eric Dillard knocks down the jumper. The start this Sunrise with the ball up by two. They are switching 
every screen. Oh no. That's a two. Hey, it's not gonna happen on the first side. It ain't gonna happen on the first side. Jerry's Walker had it stripped. And Osa puts it in in transition. Sunrise up by seven, matching their largest lead. We're good. We're good. Diamante leaving it for Bradley to lead in. So five in a row for IMG after they trailed by ten. Seconds, Bradley the wrap around to Walker for the dunk. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, baby, we gotta keep playing. Get to the rim. Put somebody in the basket. Fall fake. Make the free throws. Wake up! Playing harder right now. Come on. Come on, man. He sets up Kendall Brown, who throws it down. Bates with Kendall Brown's hand in his face. He draws IMG to within three. You ready? For the two seats, Sunrise Christian, three and a half to go in the third quarter. Shane Bradley, he puts it in with a foul. IMG hey, on let's go. We gotta stay even. We gotta stay even. I think it was one of the more close-knit teams I've had. That's why it kind of hurts so much because you wanted to push them over the edge and, and see them, you know, run around and celebrate. And I think it was an extremely close-knit group. I think it was a group that played for each other. You know, they played for the, the name on the front as opposed to the name on the back. And you could see a lot of growth in each of them. You know, we're in it to compete. There's no question about that. But when it's all said and done, if you're watching them grow as sons, brothers, family members, you know, at home and here, then that's kind of the the bigger win when it's all said and done because that'll carry them along further in life.